Today we're going to make a counterweight to put tension on a rope that we're going to hang in a tree that's going to hold up a wire antenna. Check the video description. I'm going to list all the sizes of all the hardware and the lengths of everything that I cut so that it's easy if you want to build this project too. And we're going to use some two inch electrical conduit and we're going to use some end caps that I've already pre-drilled some holes here. And the top one has a uh, stainless steel loop in the top that we'll, we'll use to connect the rope there. And then on the side of the conduit, we're going to put one of these nylon cleats that will just give us a nice place to anchor the rope. And uh, the amount of conduit that we're using right now is about 9 inches. This is 2 inch conduit. Uh, the hardware we're going to use is one fourth inch, everything's stainless steel, but fourth inch bolts. This will go across the, the two heads here. I don't want to glue them with uh, the PVC cement because I want to be able to take this apart, but I'll be filling this with sand and I can adjust, you know, the amount of weight that we need by easily taking these off with the hardware. And I actually had to cut this bolt, so like the size that we used here is roughly three and one eighths. For the cleat, we're using number eight screws. It has a, a tapered head here that kind of matches the, the um, nylon cleat here. And for on the opposite side of the cleat, we're gonna put an eye bolt that'll go right in the center here. We're gonna run through a fiberglass fence pole and that's gonna kind of keep this thing you know, on track as the tree moves in the wind. And this eye bolt is 5 sixteenths. So I've already marked this conduit. You can see the center line here. And I marked some lines here where you can see, you know, the end cap will ride right there. It's just trying to find the center just so it's kind of visually pleasing. And then I'm going to take the nylon cleat. And since there's two holes here, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, aligning it on the center. And then I'll take a pencil here. And I'm going to mark right where one of the holes is going to be. And then I'm going to take, uh, you know, a nail punch. Just kind of put a mark there so that when I drill it, the drill bit doesn't walk all over the place. So we're going to start with the cleat. And also notice that we're doing this before putting on any end caps. Uh, this is easier because you'll be able to get wrenches inside to tighten the other side of the hardware. We're going to use an 11 64th drill bit for the first hole for the nylon cleat. So we'll take that, put it in the cleat here, and then with that in there, we'll use that for our alignment here. So we can see right about there. That looks pretty good. And this time with this all lined up, I'm just gonna take my little nail set here and put it right in the center and make a nice little dot. I'll be able to see right there. cleat. So then uh, to secure this, this part's a little tricky. So I have some number eight washers here. And what I'm going to do is just grab them with these, uh, I think they're called hemostats. And if you look in here, let's see if I can get this on camera. I'm just going to slide that over on top of that so you can see that in there now i have my number eight lock nut here's a nice little trick if you take a wrench well, this is a ratcheting wrench um, i guess it doesn't necessarily matter in this case but i put some tape on one side so i can fit that over on the nut press it down and it holds it in place cool right so i'm going to put that over the screw Kind of hold that in place. Let's screw that in place. 
that's nice and tight. Now we'll do the same thing again here. There we go. Now we're gonna put the eye bolt on the other side here. And this one will be easier because there's just one hole to drill here. So I'm going to put my little dimple here. Probably would have been easier to do before I put the cleat on, but it's not going to be a big deal. For this one, I'm going to use a 5 16th drill bit. But before I do that, I'm going to use a smaller drill bit just to make a pilot hole so it doesn't walk all over the place. Now for the... 5 sixteenths hole. Now I have my 5 sixteenths bolt with washer and I don't have a nylon lock washer. I'm just going to use a, a regular metal one. Still all stainless hardware. See that fits nicely there. We're going to turn it this way so that the post that it rides through uh, is nice there. So we're gonna put a washer there, and then same deal on the inside here. We're gonna use our little hemostats, tweezers, whatever you want to call. Got that on right there. We're also going to put our lock washer on there. So we're going to use our same trick as last time to put the bolt on. We have some tape on the wrench. Drop the bolt in there. Nice, right? Put that right on top. And this time, you can see room right in there. I have something to hold on to, so I'm just going to spin the eye bolt. So this thing threads on. You know, just to crank it down, I'm gonna use, you can use a screwdriver. Nice. Okay, now we're gonna put the end caps on. I'm gonna start with the bottom cap here. You notice I've already pre-drilled holes. These are a uh, quarter inch. Just look at the hardware that we talked about before. And one thing to just be aware of is when we have the top on here, like this, the rope is going to come through here and it's going to be anchored onto the cleat here. So um, we don't want any hardware sticking out right here. We want it to be at a right angle to where the rope's path is going to be so there's no chafing or anything like that. And it doesn't really matter for the bottom one, but it's kind of nice to just have everything in the same orientation. So we're going to start with the bottom and we're going to make sure that our holes are 90 degrees from all of our hardware on either side. That looks pretty good. And then we'll just kind of slam it down. And we're gonna grab a fourth inch drill bit here, quarter inch. Then we're just gonna go right through the holes that we already drilled. And note, we're gonna go through each side. We don't wanna attempt to go through the whole thing. So we'll do, we'll drill twice here. Skip. Same thing on the other side. There we go. Put our bolt on. can cinch this guy down. Don't have to crank it down. The lock washer here is going to, or sorry, the lock nut here is just going to hold it in place. Just want to get the threads coming out a little bit there. And now we're almost done. So we can put the top on here. 
we're gonna put it on, but we're actually gonna take it off because we still have to fill it. But I don't, I'm gonna fill this with sand and I don't want this spilling out. So we're gonna align this right now. And we can kind of gently tap it down there. Now we'll drill our holes again. Now, getting the cap off can be a little tricky, but if you just want to take a hammer, kind of work your way around the edge. There we go. Okay, we got this filled with sand now. Kind of see in there. We're gonna try and put this together without making a mess here. Put the cap on here, trying to align the holes. And it just has to be close enough. So now we can align the hole by using our little nail punch here. And kind of putting it in there, using it for leverage. It'll move the cap. See it's getting better. Do the same thing on the other side. Take our screw, put it through the other hole. And then we'll do our washer and our nut. And that's it. So here's a demo of how it works. I have it going through a fiberglass rod. It's normally used for fence posts. It's kind of a windy day today. You can see as the tree up here moves, the counterweight goes up and down. It doesn't fly all over the place. Thanks for watching.